George Ranch Historical Park is set up as a living history educational facility. The history of the George Ranch starts out with the Jones family. They left Arkansas in the late fall, early winter of 1821, and they got down here in the spring of 1822, back when Texas wasn't part of the United States. This is Mexico. When we first came here, Nancy and Henry were just married. She was expecting her first child. And we had to walk here from the Arkansas Territory, so it took us six months. So you're looking for Mr. Jones? Now, he is actually out at the trading post today. He can pick us up some nice wool, because I need to be working on those blankets. Uh, this family, by the early 1840s, did have 12 children. They did extremely well for themselves, growing cotton and gathering up all these wild longhorns out here. What started out with this family with 4,428 acres of land after three generations, there's 23,000 acres of land. This is the 1896 Oldenburg Blacksmith Shop. Um, the blacksmith shop in the Victorian age, which is 1896, was used by the Davis family. Judge Davis and his wife were the parents of Mamie George, who married Albert George. And when she died in her will, she left her land, her house, her belongings as an educational facility. So the general public can come out and learn about not only her family, but about the history of the 1830s, 1860s, 1890s, and 1930s. And what we do out here at Milo my little pieces, we're a living history site. We really do it. We make candles, we make soap, we skin, we have butcher hogs, make leather. So we have first-hand knowledge on a lot of aspects of pioneer life. I am the full-time blacksmith in the 1896 blacksmith shop. I do things completely historically accurate to the 1890 through 1910 Victorian era. I dress up in historically accurate clothes and I portray a blacksmith in the Victorian times. This is the 1930s section of the George Ranch. This is where Mr. George actually ran his cattle operation. Here we've got all of our barns that he built, not only for the horses, but also for his show cattle. He raised a lot of breeding stock. Uh, we still work cattle here today. Besides working out on the ranch proper, we also work here on the museum side, the 1930s side, to show people exactly what he did and what all of this facilities here for with the sorting pins and that type of thing. When the people come over, we'll actually bring up some of our longhorns and we'll actually rope them for the folks. Basically, that's kind of what we do. We give the people a taste of what it's like being a cowboy. Texas Market Days happens in late October, uh, and it's a two-day festival. We have all kinds of hands-on activities, uh, spinners, dyers, weavers, all different kinds of things. In the adjacent field, we have the Mexican Army. We have skirmishes throughout the day, and we try to tell a story. And of course, we have the Confederates are camped around the house, and they're having battles throughout the day, and it's a lot of fun. That's what the George Ranch is set up to do, is to educate and to not only textbook educate, but to physically, mentally, and emotionally put the picture in front of the student. Learning about the, the four families within the park, different traditions, different things that get passed down, how they survived, and it all has to do with family, and that's a really big reason why I enjoy working out here. I am out here for the sole purpose of educating kids. That is why I do what I do. Being a cowboy is, is more of a passion than an occupation. There's not a lot of us left that still do this anymore. We don't want to see it die any more than it already has. I can do what I do for fun and enjoyment, and I get to do it every day. Out here, we get to create memories, and it's a gift.